All right, welcome back. It is time for Ask the Expert. St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner, and that means the St. Patrick's Day Parade will be here before you know it. At the parade, you will be able to see people collecting non-perishable food items. Jen Vetris with the Friends of St. Patrick and Michelle McCormick with the Hunger Task Force are here to explain. So, uh, a big parade, lots of people coming. Great opportunity to also help. Jen? Yes, uh, I'm the president of the Milwaukee chapter of the Friends of the St. Patrick Center. Okay. The St. Patrick Center is in Downpatrick, Northern Ireland, and it's the only permanent exhibition in the world on the life of St. Patrick. Really? That is very cool. And so when people come out, M Michelle, again, we want to try to get as much eyes on our issues here in Milwaukee County when it comes to hunger. Yeah, we're not against dancing and green beer and everything like that. But if you really want to observe St. Patrick's Day, you should start with an act of charity. And we've got a vital need right now in our pantry network. We have some 80 pantries in Milwaukee County alone that serve 50,000 people every month and half of them are children and they need canned tuna, and they also need canned chicken in water or pouched might be easier to take sure. along the parade route. You're this talking is a vital protein. protein. Protein that's expensive. Yes. Ah. You know, so and also cash is wonderful. We love a wee bit of the green <laughs> the task force. <laughs> of course, of and course. And because we have such buying power, low sugar cereal, another thing our families need, they can't afford because it's about $4 a box. If you give us cash though, we can buy it in bulk for only a dollar a box and we make the most of the green in the green season because at March until the 10th, we can match each dollar donation okay. so we can double your donations that you make along the parade route on Saturday. That all sounds good. Tell us where along the parade route we can see you so we can either drop off the chicken, the tuna or the green. You're going to see us and you're going to hear us, right, Jen? That's right. We're walking the entire route. So if you don't <laughs> hear or see them, there's still a way that they, they can give to the Hunger Task Force. Absolutely. You can go to HungerTaskForce.org and please specify that you're giving in the name of the Friends of St. Patrick because we're really trying to keep hold of the true meaning of the holiday and that's why we are so happy to celebrate 10 years with this wonderful organization. And Jen, when you watch the video, I think um, that was last year. I mean, this is just yes. a wonderful event, family event as well, right? It is. We're hoping everyone comes out to celebrate. We've been doing this with Hunger Task Force since 2009. So look for the big blue truck, look for the people with the grocery carts and the giant Irish sweaters. And I hope everyone remembers to bring food and cash to help the community. All right, this is a great life lesson for any kid who's along that parade route this weekend. Downtown and the Blue Mountain Parade. And thank you, TMJ4, for remembering the true spirit of the holiday. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Have a question for our experts? Email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. We do have the number there for you.